calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? by selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? Right. 
Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now. Money for cat food. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks bout up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Okay, we got some space. I'll try to boot up this antivirus. And we scan. Scanning. Ugh, I need to write some product, Brohim. I'm feeling the itch. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Send me the phone. Oh, nice.
Welcome. Bienvenu, bienvenidos. Enjoy because we're all about to be out. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Look back, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your arrogance are? Oh, um... Some a-hole drank my effing head milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! Hold on, I'll buzz you out. Michael, hold on, hold on. Dome! They domed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. guy in America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. 
you could be docked in at home, and at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Go, 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 go. Oh, hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello. Oh! Get security. Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, 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 no. Whoa! Last, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is the real police system. You worthless turd. She's a biter! That's assault on top of the shop looking beat. Man, the paperwork. What you packing? You know, standard LSPD issue 9 mil. Sweet. He's got my Shit. car! Oh. Alright, let's go! Let's go! Drive, Michael! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Let's go, Michael! Chill out. It's under control. Go, 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 go! Relax, I got this. I do not want to go to prison. I'm on top of it. The cops are still after us! Relax, I got this. Come on, come on! I'm on top of it. Hi there. Shit! They're still on us! Chill out. It's under control. They're coming, Michael! I'm on top of it. Get us out of here! Chill out. It's under control. Is that it? 
Are they gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Don't say it! What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed! Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you! I'm not saying anything! I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail! Where are you going? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at. Love, love, big love. So this is what it's like to be you? Uh, not really, honey. See, I'm a semi-successful crook. You're a bit of a failure, but hey, kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of this Lovers on the Run act? Are we going home? You know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and... yeah. Thank you. Almost a car, amigo. Ah! Oh crap! No! Motherfucker! You're so no! finished! Ah! No! You fuck! Whoa! And the American Dream Grand! Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought, maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look. I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those 
Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was a, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but nah, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The shop's on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Here we are. Your bleed about the movie was hilarious. Hey, so I sent texts the next day asking. You me reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Glasses are live, shoot away. Alarm, vents, and cameras, get some shots! Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? So, uh, that's the cameras and the alarm. When you've got a shot of the vents, we're done. Great, you got the security camera and the ventilation in that shot. Good work, now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap, thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. OK. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Yoo-hoo! Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof.
So you keep up with the old crew? You well, know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. I'm on the roof. I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. It's like a big box on the roof. Conditioning roof unit. We need to know where those vents come out. I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. See the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? We've got our shot of the Vangelico unit. Looks good. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. You see, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof, means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. Workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Uh, well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, you know, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise, but making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? 
If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Ah, Norm. Came across as uh, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. If you're happy, I'll start making the arrangements. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Uh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs, so, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. No. Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? 
disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnapped. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last 10 years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. Tell me more about the coffee Yo, thanks. This one'll do. Wow. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV! <sighs> end of the pier, fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. Hey, Pop! You're such a health nut, we should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis nonsense. You'll die first, old man, right after you buy the TV. Come on, Jim. Keep pushing.
It's like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Dad, come on. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! Ah, ah, man! I like What's that! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass, these guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! OMG! They're coming! Go into that outlet! All right! All right! if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Get away from them. Back off, assholes. Pleasure. I bet it was a pleasure. You're only pleased 
when you're being shot at! No, I meant you don't have to thank me for saving your life from those maniacs! You didn't save it! You ruined it! There he is! Give me you, Seabag! You! You fucking asshole! Ah! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. 